G'day team, it's Amir at Bike Lab again. Uh, today we are talking about BMX balls. Uh, a lot of people will ask what is the difference between a one inch obviously for the kids, a uh, 1018 and a 1.5 steerer tube. Uh, difference being is obviously the thickness of the steerer tube. With these they're an aluminium steerer, uh, they can taper them out to 1.5 bearing at the bottom. What that does is it allows more surface area and allows it to be stiffer. Um, obviously stiffer, the better feel you have, uh, the more responsive your bike is. Um, again, 10-20mm uh, dropouts. Uh, a lot of people will ask why 10, why 20mm? Uh, reason being 10mm, you have less surface contact, so theoretically a little more flexy. Uh, with the 20mm you have a nice through bolt, so not only does it aesthetically look better, but it is stiffer. You have more surface contact, stiffens it up, same again. Uh, the stiffer you can get it, the better your responsiveness and, and so forth. So. All right, so when we've got a new racer that's come in and they want a new bike, uh, firstly we decide, uh, we'll figure out how much they want to spend. And from there, we decide whether we want to go a chromoly fork, an aluminium fork, or a carbon fork. So, uh, normally the cheaper option of the lot is a chromoly fork. What you're gaining with that is a super, super strong fork. Not as lightweight as what you'll get with the carbon and alloy, but again, super strong. Also fantastic if you do a lot of dirt jumps, um, skate parks, play around on your bike a little bit more. Uh, one inch and one and one eighth steerers, as with the, all the forks are. Uh, 10 mil and 20 mil dropouts, depending on which model of fork you go for. Okay, second fork on the rank today is the Reach aluminium fork. These are the only aluminium fork, as far as I'm aware, on the market. I use these forks personally and have had fantastic results uh, with them. I really didn't notice a whole lot of difference going from these to the carbon. So um, again, super strong and available in one inch, uh, one and one eighth, then uh, 1.5 dropouts with these ones. The third fork in the lineup today is carbon. The joys of carbon is it is super, super lightweight. Uh, we can also make it a lot stiffer as well, uh, different carbon layouts. Um, but the idea of it is it's super lightweight and to be super stiff. So longevity wise, if you look after them, they're absolutely fine. If you have a big crash, they are a little bit te more temperamental. Um, with these forks, again, 10, 20 mil dropouts, same as the other ones. With the carbon junior forks, we do actually go carbon fiber steerers as well. Uh, the box forks don't run a carbon steerer, they're an aluminium steerer. But with these Evian forks we have here today, they are a carbon steerer. Again, what it allows uh, them to do is to engineer it differently. Obviously the mounting with the crown race to the actual fork legs is all one piece. Again, just stiffens it up a little bit more. That's been our little talk on BMX forks. If you've got any questions, uh, pop in the store or hit us up on one of our social media lines or fire us an email. I'm Tim, we'll see you next time.